Hey everybody, it's Hayes Billy Crook for Lunkers and Bucks. Uh, today we're sitting at uh, the parking lot at uh, Cracker Barrel on Greenbrier Parkway across from Greenbrier Mall. I uh, fished the uh, lakes on the other side that don't have any trees on them and uh, there's a little hidden pond right next to Cracker Barrel surrounded by trees. I'm going to try it out today. I've uh, caught a lot of small stuff on the other side. I'm hoping that uh, there's just as many over here, but I don't think a lot of people fish it uh, just because it's hard to get to and uh, it's surrounded by trees. So unless you've got a kayak or some type of boat, uh, it's hard to really get in there. And as you can see, there's all kinds of uh, poison ivy and it looks like people have been dumping their brush in here. So it's, it's got a lot of stickers, uh, fallen trees, kind of hard to get through it. And as usual, uh, it's raining uh, when I go fishing and, and today's no difference. Uh, but as you can see, it gets right down in here, a nice little little pond. Or some people call it a drainage ditch. <laughs> Unfortunately, as I got into the uh, the pond, I noticed that there's an awful lot of trash out here. Uh, no one really cleans it. So along all the edges, there's you know a couple thousand bottles of uh, some form of trash. Uh, plastic bottles, uh, trash bags, cups, you name it, it's in there, unfortunately. Right here, uh, back behind Joe's Crab Chat. It's only about six inches to a foot deep, but I wanted to check it out, see what's all in here. Uh, really didn't catch anything using top water bait, um, but it's an entry if you can get in there. I don't know if they would tell you or not, but I parked over there in the, in the major uh, parking lot so they wouldn't tell you. A couple out of extinct businesses there that uh, have tow signs, so. Uh, with my luck, I'd get towed, so I, I parked over in a big park lot and just walked over. But as you can see, it opens up quite nicely. I'm um, going to try out to first catch some brim, see what see what type of small fish are in here, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, and as you can see, we're getting some bites here. I usually catch the brim. I'll use them for, uh, if I don't use them today for bait, I'll use them, I'll freeze them up and use them for catfish or um, some, you know, bow fin, something like that at a later date, but plenty of little fish in there, uh, already three of them, uh, knocking it out pretty quick. But as you can see, uh, I was catching small bass all day long. Uh, this is probably the biggest of the bunch with the swim bait, uh, nailing them earlier with the top water earlier in the day and the rain has stopped. Uh, but really a lot of action, you know, no deeper than six feet, uh, deep. Uh, most of it's, you know, three to four feet deep along the edges. Um, and really not a lot of uh, a lot of other people in there. Exit, there you go. Finally, the sun's out. And as you can see, unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, junk in here at the bottom uh, that I have to walk through. Kind of, it's almost like uh, fishing in a trash can, unfortunately, a flooded trash can. So it's, uh, but there you go. And as you can see, it's about a 35 uh, degree angle trying to get back up. Um, but yeah, right next to Cracker Barrel on Greenbrier Parkway. If you need a place to get away and do a little quick fishing, uh, not a bad place to go. Again, a little dirty, but uh, if you don't mind that, lots of action. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, Lunkers and Bucks.